Hi there, students. Whirl, whirl, twirl, and swirl. Okay, so to whirl. Yeah, I'm whirling the cable round and round to whirl, to twirl. Yeah, if I was agile, I could do this a lot faster. I've seen some of you do this with a pen very, very rapidly to twirl like a cheerleader. And finally, to swirl. OK, so going all of these are going round and round here with swirl. I'm swirling the water round and round. OK, so to whirl, to move something rapidly round and round. To twirl, to spin something very often repeatedly round and round like a cheerleader with a baton. And to swirl this liquid like a whirlpool or twisting spiral patterns in something. So, to whirl, to go round and round, my head is whirling. Maybe I'm a bit dizzy or I'm dazed or I'm excited. Okay? You could, you could have the word a whirlwind that whirls round and round and round. Maybe it swirls as well, but I think to whirl is more regular than to swirl. To swirl is a more irregular pattern. So the fog was swirling. Okay. Um, and to twirl, I have the idea that you've got something long and you twist it round and round, you spin it rapidly. I guess I could twirl my hair going round and round. Uh, you have the word curl as well, which is clearly related to all of these words. So, ideas were whirling in my head, moving very rapidly round and round. Um, and I was thinking about different things. Ideas were swirling round my mind. They were going here and there in different patterns. But ideas wouldn't twirl in my mind. He whirled round. He turned round rapidly. Um, the dancer twirled, gyrated round and round. Yeah, A twirling motion or a whirling motion. Give us a twirl. Turn round so that we can see all of you. But I think the word to whirl, going rapidly round and round. To swirl, to move in different directions. Okay, what about the origin of this? Well, I, th they, I think this word comes from Norse. There's a, a, a Viking word, hervirfil which is a circle. You've got her filler. Okay, to turn round. And we even have a Dutch word, um, zwirelen, to swivel round, to swirl round. Okay, so all of these are regular verbs. World, world, world. Twirl, twirled, twirled, swirl, swirled, swirled. I think to whirl is neutral formality. You could use it in a very informal conversation, and I think you could also use it in a very formal one. So it's nice and flexible. I think to twirl is has a tendency to be slightly more informal than whirl, yeah? Um, I think I could use twirl in something semi-formal, but I might not use it in a very formal document. And then to swirl, again, neutral formality, you can use it informally and very formally. Ah, and I didn't mention it, 
but whirl, W-H-O-R-L. For example, your fingerprints, the patterns are called whirls with an O. So a whirl with an O is a spiral pattern or a concentric circle. Yeah? Okay, so to whirl something round and round, I've got the cord, to twirl, to twist it like a cheerleader with a baton and to swirl, to make a whirlpool, if you like. Okay, a whirlwind, yeah? Um, I think the centre of the whirlwind, the wind is whirling round and round and the things are swirling, moving in random directions around it. Okay, so I hope that's cleared any doubts you might have had. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Whirl, twirl, and swirl.